You want to create a generative collection but don't know how to code, right? Let's see how you can do it too. You're watching Vector Recite and let's get started. FX Hash is a popular platform on Tezos for minting artwork generated using code. But if you're like me and don't know how to code, this video can help you out. The Twitter user Pure Spider has created a code which you can use to create generative image compositions on FX Hash. You just need to have the correct image files with the correct naming of files and folders. Let's see how to set up your files. Then we'll talk about the tools required for the process, which you will be able to get through Pure Spiders Twitter. All links used in this video will be in the description as well. So let's first see how to set up the images. There are a few things you need to keep in mind while creating the image files. You can use any software which allows the use of PNGs or allows you to export PNGs because you need the transparency to overlap the files. Next, you need to keep all the images of the same size. Example, 1080 by 1080p is a good square size no matter how small the component is. Let's look at an example. Here I am using Figma but you can use any software of your choice. So let's say you want your project to look something like this. Here we have different components like the background, the eyes, the face and the body. So what you want to do is you have to create all of these individual elements on their own layer. So what I mean by that is here you can see first I have all the backgrounds on their separate layers. Next we have the bodies on their separate layers. Next we have all the heads and next we have all the eyes. So you'll see that even though the eyes are small but the image is still the same size as the head as the body and as the background. So when you overlap the files, it will look something like this. If you want me to create an in-depth tutorial on setting up your files in Procreate, let me know in the comments and I'll try to cover that too. Now that you have all the files ready and exported, you need to categorize them into folders and rename them accordingly. So let's see how we will rename these files. So here I have four folders, one for the background, body, head and the eyes. You will see that there is a number attached to the prefix of the folder. This is to let the software know about the order of the layers. 00, zero means the background will be the first image that is processed or layered. Zero 01 means then the body comes above the background. Next the head will be layered on top and at last the eyes will be layered on top of everything. So this is how you name your layers or the folders. Next, inside each folder, we have the respective images. So you can name them whatever you want, but you also need to add a prefix just like the folders in this manner. If you use only one here, like in this example, all these backgrounds will have an equal chance to appear in the minting iteration. So let's say if I rename this background for 2-bg4. So now when the iteration is done on the platform, this background has a double chance of appearing in respect to all of these backgrounds. Let's say if I rename this to 3-bg2, this background will have 3 times the chance as these backgrounds and half times more chance than this background. Similarly, you rename the other files as well. I kept it at one body one, one body two, one body three. So all of these have equal chances to appear. Next, rename the head file similarly. Next, the eyes. So how to choose the naming properly or how to choose the prefixes properly. Let's say if you want this set of eyes to appear very rare on the collection. So what you can do is you can reduce its chance of appearing by making it a smaller number and making others larger numbers. So let's say for example, I rename all the other files with a prefix of 3. So now these 3 files have 3 times a chance to appear in respect to this file. So now this will be a super rare occurrence. So now that we have the files and folders ready, the hard part is done and we are left with the easy part. Let's go to the profile of Pure Spider on Twitter and do follow him while you are there. So open his pinned tweet and open this tweet. Open the GitHub link that is attached or just click the link in the description of this video. 
So now that you are here, you will see this template fxhash-pfp. So click on code and click on download zip. This will start a download of fxhash-pfp master zip file. So you just have to extract it somewhere. So let's say I'll extract it here and you will have this fxhash-pfp-master file. Next we need to download and install node.js. So go back to github and scroll a little bit and you will find that a note saying you have you will have to need node.js installed. So click on this link and it will take to the node.js website. You can download this or this version. I used 18.3 the current version. Click on it and it will download the software. When the download is complete, just open the file and install it like a normal software. Just a few clicks and it will be installed. After the installation is done, let's now go back to the folder we downloaded. So if you open this fx hash pfp master, go to this public folder and you will see there is a layers folder. There we will have just a dummy file. So what you need to do is go back to the layers you created in the first step and copy all of these. Next, we go back to this folder, public and layers and paste all of these folders here. You can also delete the dummy file from here now. Now go back to the main folder of fx hash pfp master and run this generate.bat file if you are on windows. If you are on mac, you need to run this file but you have to make it executable first. I don't know how to do that but you can just quickly make a google search on how to make a file executable on mac and then you need to run this file. So currently you will see that we have four folders here. Now I am on windows so I will double click this generate.bat file and it will run a script. So we will wait for this to complete. Just now the code completed running and now you will see we have a new folder here called disk.zipped. We open it and we will see a project.zip file. This is our complete project we will use to mint. So first let's test this before the actual minting process. Go to fx hash and click on this sandbox. This is a testing environment which you can use to test your code before you mint it. And if there are any errors you can edit the file to rectify them. You can drag and drop your zip file here. So I'll just take this zip file and drop the file here. You can also click here and it will open up the explorer to browse to the file. So now click on start test. You will see that it will show you all your layers here. We can see the background, the body, the head and the eyes layer. So the file is working correct because we can see all the images overlapped. If you do not see all the images here, like if you do not see the eyes completely at all, check the naming of your files. When I was testing the software, I didn't use this thing one dash before the I and my file was not rendering after that. So always make sure if your file is not displaying here correctly, it will not be minted correctly and you have to rectify all the errors before that. So once you can see it is generating one hash, you have two things you need to verify. A same hash generates the same output. What it means is if you click on retry with same hash, it should always generate the same image. Sometimes it stops working when you leave it for a while. So just you just have to update zip and browse to the file again. Open the file again and it will load up. So if you retry with same hash, you should always get the same image. If you are getting a different image, then that means your file has some errors. Next, a different hash always generates different outputs. So what that means is if you click on new hash, it should always generate a new iteration. So let's try new hash and you will see that it always generates a new iteration. If your file is working properly, that is the new hash generates a new output every time and the retry with same hash generates the same output every time your file is good to go. Next thing you can see is the features thing. So you can see this heading is the folder name that we used and this is the file name that we used. So our folder names you can see here are background, body, head and eyes. So you can see they are appearing here. Now one thing to notice sometimes you need to have a space in this file name. 
so you will see that there is no space in between because if you put spaces in the names of the files your code will not work so what you have to do is rename your files something like this so go to the public folder go to the layers and let's rename the body files so you will leave everything the same but let's say you want to add a red blue and purple to the body so we will use one dash body and underscore and then red this underscore will translate to a space on the website so let's add a two times chance of occurrence to this blue body and we will use the name two dash body underscore blue and let's use one dash body underscore purple for this one now go back to the main folder and click on generate dot pat again the code will rerun and generate a new project file this time so let's go back to the website and update our zip file click on update and choose the new project file open the project file and click on start tests okay so now we have body purple body red and body blue here with an underscore in the file name but if you go down to the features you will see that this has a space here where we used an underscore so this way you can rename all your files to have spaces in between i don't know if it works with the folders but you can test it out so i have already generated a project file here so let's test it out let's open this file and it loads up perfectly so you can see all my files here i have tons of files and i and this new hash works perfectly well and retry with same hash also works perfectly well so now we can see that our zip file is working perfectly we are ready for the minting process you can also find a detailed guide on how to use it in the github page of pure spider you can also check this super awesome thread by rain rain arts where rain rain explained how you can create a collection on fx hash in very simple terms so do check the thread out and follow rain rain as well i leave the link in the description so let's now go to fx hash and try to mint our token so i have not connected to fx hash before this so this is also new to me so let's click on sync and click on our wallet choose your account and click on connect so our profile is not showing anything so click on your profile and go to edit profile so i quickly added the name description and image and let's click on submit it will ask for a transaction just confirm it you can also verify your social media and your website using tz profiles which i have already made a tutorial on you can see that in the video description or i'll attach it in the end of the video your profile update is now on the blockchain so i guess we have our profile set up now so let's go to creations tab and check our profile so we don't have it yet so now after 2 3 minutes my profile has appeared as you can see the image the name and the description as well is already available here so let's go to profile let's refresh the tab and see if the Im image also appears here so yeah it appears here also so let's go to the drop down menu and click on mint generative token so we will see that publishing new projects is open for 6 hour and 57 minutes after that they take a break and it will open up again for after some time this is the minting button i have clearly checked my zip file time to mint i'll also recommend you to go through this guide to build a generative token and the code of conduct also so you know that you do not go against any terms and conditions of the platform so we have checked our file so let's click on mint who's authoring the piece it's only me it's not a collaboration so i'll click on you and click on next step next is to drop your zip file here Click to browse and select our zip file and click on open. Click on upload and the file starts uploading.
Next you will see it will open up the same sandbox environment and we can test our file here. This is the last place where you can check your file. So make sure it's working correctly and all the tags and features are correct. Retry with the same hash gives same result and you have hash gives a new result. We have tested it. And one more thing is you can generate a hash here which will be showed as the preview of your project. So you can go through the new hash and choose the one you like. So let me find one. Let's choose this hash. Click on I want to keep this hash for the preview of my project and my generative token works properly. Next step and these settings you will get from the GitHub Pure Spider profile. The first one is programmatic trigger and the second one is from canvas. So we will select programmatic trigger and select from canvas as the second one. For the canvas CSS selector, we'll copy this and paste it right here. Next, you can click on test capture and it will give you a preview of your hash here. So click on next step. And you have your artwork here and the preview image here. So this preview image should always match the generative artwork. If it does, your project is working well. Click on next step. Here you will have to add the number of additions and the price. Next click on schedule opening to schedule the time at which the minting starts. So I'll choose tomorrow's date and choose a time of 4 pm. If you want to split the revenue with someone, you can add them here, add the royalties and you can add the royalty split also. Click on enabled and click on next step. Here you can select how many explorations are enabled on your token. So for pre-mint, we will enable the exploration and keep the number of variations to infinite. For post-mint, I will disable the exploration. So this means when the mint is over, people cannot see more variations of it. So click on next step and add project details. Add a description of your token and collected NFT description can be different as well as same as this one if you leave this empty. Add the tags. Make sure to add the tag image composition and select image composition if you are using pure spiders tool. Click on final preview and you will see that this is the final preview of your project. So everything seems correct. So let's click on publish project. It will ask for a transaction. Click on confirm and it's waiting for blockchain confirmation. This can take up to a minute or more. So your project is now on the blockchain and they bless you that may it have a happy life. Click on go to your profile and we might see it here soon. So after a few minutes, you can see the project is available here in the creations tab. And if you click and open it, it has the same preview as we chose from the hash. And the mint iteration button is grayed out because the mint opens in 23 hours and 13 minutes. So that's how you create a project on FX hash. If you want to support the channel, you can mint some iterations from here and go support pure spider also for this awesome tool that we can use. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.